Hey guys, so we don't have much time left. Jesus is going to return very soon, and the great outpouring is going to happen very soon. So, my friend posted something on Facebook, and it really woke me up. I was feeling comfortable in the world, but basically what she was saying was that the return is nigh, that we need to put our full faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and that we need to start getting out there and making disciples and reaching people, getting out of our comfort zone, being a vessel for Jesus Christ. A lot of people would rather just stay home and just relax in the world. But we don't have much time left. Now, I don't know how much time we have left, but with the way things are going, because things have kind of slowed down. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to happen this year, but we don't have very much time left. The beast kingdom is already at work. The mark of the beast is still... I mean, if... I'll just say this right now, and this may piss people off, but if Trump doesn't get in office this year, and we get Biden, we, Jesus may just return that second, because I think the only thing that is keeping Jesus from returning this very second is the fact that we have a president who is willing to do what's right, and that is putting an end to all the evil that's been going on ever since Obama came in office. And we need to get out there. The church needs to start getting out and reaching souls and showing them how to get to heaven, preaching Jesus to them, and, you know, sharing Jesus with them. Because once you do that and you actually become the full image, like showing his love, then you'll reach people. And I've discovered, I've discovered, like, you know, once you see people actually act like Jesus, you'll want to follow Jesus and give up all your sin. I know a lot of people that are truly people that are on fire for Jesus. They have one fire, so to speak. Um, so, I don't want to frighten you, but I also want to get your attention. Don't fall asleep in this world. We need to actually be more active. We need to get out there and use this opportunity to save souls. Because we don't know how long before Jesus' return is. The wedding is going to happen very soon. So this video is almost four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. But I want you guys to think about it, okay? And, you know, take this to heart because, you know, if you're left behind and, you know, like I said, you're going to have to die in order to get into heaven because you can't survive seven years. I mean, I don't think it's just possible because, again, that mark is going to be forced on everyone because the enemy wants to damn as many people as he can. See you guys later. And uh, also, don't be lukewarm. If Jesus places a message on your heart, share it. If he's knocking at your heart, answer. Let Jesus in. Because once you do, then you open yourself up to heaven. And you open yourself up to the King of Kings. I'll see you guys later. Take care.